Welcome back to our League of Legends Top 5 Plays. We have some exciting news to tell you guys, so please stay tuned to the very end. Ryan the Chocho -Cho train into our number 5 spot. We have Venom Stone Ice, and his team is now doing Dragon, as the enemy team is going to try to stop that. As you can see, Vayne is top, so they are a man down, and Katarina will flash through that wall, trying to get some damage there. As Zin Zhao has hopped onto the enemy Malzahar, and Cho'Gath is coming back to try to help out. But he knows that the Zin Zhao is dead for sure. Katarina will actually shun Poe into the group and start her ultimate, but she will go down very easily as Rise is now onto their team. And the flash from the Cho'Gath and then the Feast to bring down the first kill on Master E. And the perfect knockup and silence on all three, picking up the quadra kill for his team. Unstoppable. Snatching the number four spot, we have So Teams making a second appearance on our channel with a fantastic play on Akali. She's waiting in the bush as Shen will alter, but with the new changes, Vayne can see them, so she will run away towards their tower, but they will choose to tower dive anyways as Shen will lead this charge with a Tomba get knocked back from Condemn, and Akali is just slicing up this Vayne with the exhaust, keeping the Shen just barely alive, but the Shen will fall to the work that is coming up, but Ignite will pick up Akali's first kill. Now she's going to try and retreat towards her tower by using Shadow Dance on a minion to try to gain some distance between her and Warwick, but she realizes it is no use. The tower is not there. It is a long run. Warwick is just way too fast, so she's going to try to fight using the minions to help her, running around, kiting, waiting for Twilight Shroud. It is up. She has been granted stealth, and now she's going to burst down the Warwick, grabbing her second kill. We are going to speed this clip up just a little bit. As you see, Alistar has entered the picture, and Anivia is teleporting in on the minion. And now we're going to slow this down as Anivia's stun goes out, and she will actually shatter it at the perfect time, negating all the damage from the Alistar's knockback, and she will make it away to safety. Grabbing our number three spot, we have Azian Mofo with quite a unique Baron seal, seeing as he is Heimerdinger. But anyhow, his team right now is just sitting on Baron. He's making sure no one's coming to steal it. Tristana and Katarina are just kind of free farming on it. He sends out grenade and rockets to try to do as much damage. But here comes the Ash Arrow to ruin everything. Morgana lands her snare on Tristana, and they're just going to burst down Tristana, grabbing one kill and the second kill on Katarina. And they're just going to pick right back off on Baron. As Baron is at half health, Heimerdinger is just waiting for the opportunity to strike and go in. And now he sees it with flash up. He's going to send his grenade through the wall, flash through, send out rockets, picking up Baron somewhere in that combo, grabbing the first kill onto Akali. And now that he is stuck in there with no flash and no way out, Malphite, his teammate, is going to swing around to try to help him out as they are just trying to kill him right now. The ult comes in from Malphite and the grenade picking up the triple kill. Coming in second place, we have Ayo Chris on a move with the best mummy skin out there, so you know this is going to be epic. He's currently pushing bottom lane, but his team is going to decide to get in a team fight without him. I don't know who would get in a team fight without their Mumu. But anyhow, they're just going to get slaughtered. He is going to make his way up there, and the only one left alive is Wukong, so he's going to ban a Chos in there and alt on all five of the enemy players, keeping his Wukong alive, and they're going to get onto him as he grabs his first kill on Xin Zhao, his second and third back-to-back, -back. and it looks like he might get that Leona, but she's going to heal the Leona, but he will actually pick it up anyways for a quadra kill, and then picking up the Penta kill on Soraka. He ends up carrying his team to victory in this game, and who said chivalry was dead? And for our number one pro play for this week, we have Jar94 playing on Irelia in a 1v4 situation on the tower as Warwick is going to come in with his ultimate initiating on Irelia. And here comes the tornado and the stun from Amumu. He will actually fall below 10% health, popping Transcendent Blades, grabbing his first kill on Warwick, second kill on Janna for the double, triple kill on Amumu, still staying below 10% health. He's probably below 5% at this point, but grabbing the quadra kill on the Mordekaiser in a 1v4 situation. You have slain Haste. For the bonus clip for this week, we have jo Joachim Peterson on Gangplank, but it is a team effort pulling off this quote-unquote sniper team that had me laughing. So as the bonus clip plays for this week, I'm going to touch on an exciting new idea that we've developed, and we will start this Tuesday. That is right, this Tuesday. It is a player's choice idea that we've been talking about for quite some time. And what will happen is our, on our website, which is pertainamonster.com, we will release three clips that we think are funny or fail or any other category that isn't top five potential on our website for you guys to watch and vote on. It will be a poll. The winner will be featured in our Friday's video instead of our bonus clip. So make sure you guys check out our website soon and be sure to get your voting in because the voting closes early Thursday. So that's right, Tuesday to Thursday will be when the voting is open. Thank you guys for watching and be sure to check out our week 12 video coming out this Monday.